Hey everyone, Tom here, and today I want to talk about tuning. Now, I personally think that a lot of teachers tend to teach tuning a little late in the game, and sometimes not at all. And believe me, I get it, I've been there, and it can be a very frustrating thing uh, to both learn and teach, especially if your student is very little. But, uh, think about it this way, if you go home and you're practicing your favorite song that you spent a lot of time working on with your teacher, and all that comes out is just terrible sounding music, uh, you're probably not going to want to practice. Now, ukuleles and guitars go out of tune a lot. Uh, that's just the way they are. So learning to tune is kind of like tying your shoelaces. At first, it's kind of annoying and maybe a little confusing, but once you get it, uh, you're never going to have to worry about it again. Now, this video is for players of the ukulele, but if you are a parent um, who has a child who's learning to play the ukulele, this is really good for you as well. And I always try to encourage all the parents out there uh, to learn at least tuning. It's a huge benefit to have somebody at home who's able to lend a helping hand, uh, especially in this kind of thing that can be very frustrating. Also, uh, it might just be a really great learning experience for your kid uh, to have you show them how to do it uh, and sort of have the kind of patience to walk them through it. Okay, I think you get the idea. Let's get started. All right, thanks for tuning in. Now, a quick reminder to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, whether you're a player or you are a fan of music, we have lots of music videos, lesson videos, and everything else in between uh, for you to check out. Now, back to tuning. So the first thing we're going to want to know are the names of the open strings on the ukulele. Now, these are the pitches that we're going to be tuning the strings to, so it's really important that we know what these are. Uh, if you haven't watched my video on uh, getting to know your open string names, uh, do that now. Uh, it's not a very long video, and I guarantee you by the end of it, you'll be an expert on what these guys are called. Number two, just the basic idea of what we're doing when we're tuning. So these pegs are used to essentially loosen or stretch out the strings we're working with. So the way that works is as we tighten the string, the sound of it will go higher and we're gonna rise through the musical alphabet. So if we're starting with an A, you'll go A, B, C, D, and so on going up. Um, as we loosen the string, uh, we do the opposite. Uh, we go backwards through the musical alphabet and we hear a, a lower sound. So if it was starting on A again, but going backwards, we'd get A, G, F, E, and so on. Okay, now let's start by downloading a tuning app. Now my favorite is called Guitar Tuna, which is pretty popular. Uh, there are other really great ones, and if you have one that you really like, uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, there are also uh, clip-on tuners that kind of clip onto your ukulele like this, um, and also standalone kind of box tuners as well. Uh, they are all really great devices, and uh, they all work basically in the same way, so this video is going to cover tuning with anything, really. Uh, but I'm going to focus on the tuning app because it's uh, free, it's the most widely available, and chances are, uh, if you're just starting off, uh, an app is maybe what you're working with. Now, what all these tuners have in common is something that kind of looks like the speedometer on a car. Um, if the needle is in the center, it means that we are in tune and we're ready to play. Uh, if it's not in the middle, we have two options. Option number one, it's to the left, uh, which means it's too low. We call that too flat in music. Uh, if it's to the right, it means it's too high, uh, which means it's too sharp. So you can tell it's kind of like a video game. We are trying to make this needle go to the center so that our strings are in tune. Okay, so start by putting your device on a flat surface, something that's stable so it doesn't tip over, um, and make sure it's kind of close to your ukulele. Uh, if it's too far away, it might not pick up the sounds properly. Uh, I have mine on the stand just down here, uh, and I'm just gonna open this guy up. You can see what it looks like. It's usually set to the guitar right off the bat, so to switch this to ukulele, you wanna go to the top left corner here, um, and uh, select ukulele, and here we go, it's something that looks a bit more familiar. So let's go through each string and see what we're working with, see if anything needs tuning, and if it does, um, is it too flat or is it too sharp? So starting with my highest string, this is my A string. We can see it's too low. Uh, it even shows us how low it is. We can see it's a little bit to the left, uh, but not as uh, out of tune as it could be. Next, E. This one's quite sharp now. It's uh, out of tune in the opposite direction, and this one's pretty far out of tune. We can see that circle is red, uh, so we're gonna have to do maybe a little bit more work on that. Next, we have C. 
C is also quite out of tune, uh, but this time it's flat. It's too low. And finally, G. Oh, and G seems to be fine. So we're gonna leave that guy alone. Uh, you can see when it is in tune, uh, you get a green circle, it's right in the center, there's a check mark, and if your sound is on, it'll make a little ding sound. So that, you know. So remember when you're turning the string, you're turning very, very little. Uh, don't turn too much. This is not gonna require many, many turns. We're talking about like maybe uh, a quarter of a turn at most. If you turn too much, then you're risking going out of tune in the opposite direction. And you're just playing this kind of game, kind of being out of tune in two different places over and over again. Don't expect to be cranking these a whole lot. And if you are, uh, chances are there's something going wrong. Now one of the trickiest things is figuring out the direction in which to turn these pegs. Uh, now I've made a diagram to help you out. Most ukuleles look like this, with two tuning keys pointing up and two pointing down. For the ones that point up, we sharpen the string by turning it counterclockwise and flatten by turning clockwise. For the ones that point down, we sharpen by turning counterclockwise and flatten by turning clockwise. So the tricky part is that the direction changes depending on which ones you're turning. Some ukuleles, like mine, have all the tuning keys pointing up, which means that all the strings sharpen and flatten in the same direction. And feel free to come back to this if you ever get confused. So let's start by getting great posture. I'm gonna start with the G. And that one's already in tune, we can move on. Next, C. This one's too low or too flat. I'm gonna have to turn uh, counterclockwise or to the left uh, to make this go to the center. Let's do that. And that's now stabilized in the middle there. Now let's do the E string. Now, this one's too sharp or too high. Uh, to get this to the center, because my peg is pointing up, I'm gonna turn this uh, clockwise or to the right. Uh, for most ukuleles, uh, you likely have a peg that's pointing down, so yours is gonna be the reverse. Uh, you're gonna wanna turn this counterclockwise or to the left uh, to make this go to the center from being sharp, so here we go. And there we have it. Uh, next, uh, our A string. Uh, this one's the same idea. Uh, if your ukulele has this peg pointing down, uh, you're gonna wanna go opposite here as well. So, this one's too low, too flat. Uh, to make this uh, go to the center, I'm gonna turn it um, counterclockwise or to the left. Uh, if you have a ukulele that has it pointing down, uh, you wanna do uh, clockwise and to the right. And there we have it, perfect tuning. So before we end this lesson, let's recap a couple of the most important points to keep in mind as you're doing this. Number one, make sure you have your tuner close enough to you so it's picking up the sound of your strings properly. If you're too far away, uh, the needle will get all glitchy. Number two, uh, tune in a quiet place without other music playing so your tuner can pick up your strings easily. Number three, flat means too low and your needle will point to the left and sharp means too high, uh, and that means your needle will point to the right. Number four, turn the correct tuning peg. Uh, I know this sounds silly, but this happens a lot if you're not careful. You'll be turning the wrong tuning key and the tuner won't be moving and you'll wonder why. If this is happening, just double check that you're turning and picking the correct string. Number five, before you start turning, make sure you know what direction you're turning in. Go back to this diagram if you forget. Number six, Turn slowly, pick steadily, and keep your eyes on the tuner. This way you make sure you don't tune too far. Number seven, tune often, probably before each time you play. This will ensure that your playing sounds good, it means that your ukulele will never be drastically out of tune, and it'll make your tuning simpler each time you do it. And finally, number eight, Patience. Um, I know this might sound obvious, but uh, your first tuning might take 15 minutes, and that's okay. Uh, it takes a while to get used to the way uh, the turning of the keys works, um, getting used to the way the tuner looks, all those things uh, take a bit of time, but I guarantee you within uh, I don't know, two or three weeks of doing this steadily, uh, it's something that'll kind of come second nature to you. So make sure you're patient with yourself and your instrument, and you'll be off to a great start. 
All right, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time with another one.